Welcome everyone. I am Connie Zach, co-owner of Sunlighten. Welcome to Sunlighten Spotlight. This is one of my favorite things that we do. We have um, a brief 30 minutes to learn all of the wisdom from our special guest today, but I'm super excited. So let's get started. We are welcoming Dr. Jack Wolfson today. He's a natural heart doctor, board certified cardiologist who uses nutrition and lifestyle and supplements to help treat and prevent heart disease. Welcome, Dr. Wolfson. Welcome to Sunlight and Spotlight. I can't wait to hear everything you have to share. Thanks so much, Connie. Pleasure to be on and uh, love talking about saunas and detox and all things heart health related. So again, I appreciate the opportunity and uh, love the people at Sunlight and, and of course all your products. Thank you so much. Well, I'd like to start with understanding when I was doing research and learning all about everything that you study, natural ways to help the heart. And um, it's really, it's fascinating to me because that's that's what we're all about here at Sunlight. And, and I mean, I started my career at Procter & Gamble and I was on the pharmaceutical side. So I spent, you know, some years over working at the cardiovascular side or trying to find antihypertensives that didn't have, you know, significant side effects, working on um, kind of cutting edge products for arrhythmias. So, I mean, I know that medical side, you know, well, and I was super glad to, you know, leave a kind of what I thought was making a difference type of, you know, environment to a, a, a natural safe way without side effects to, to heal different uh, diseases. And so what I would love to know is what prompted you as a board certified cardiologist? I mean, I'm, you know, medical school, all of that, where, you know, the way you're trained, how, what made you become interested in investigating the natural ways to help the body? Yeah, most certainly. You know, I went through four years of osteopathic medical school, three years of internal medicine, three years of cardiology, became a cardiologist like my father before me. And then I'm a couple years on the job. And at that point, of course, hospital-based cardiologist dealing with the sickest of the sick people. And my father also, who was my hero, was becoming ill. And he started to develop a Parkinson's-like illness in his mid to late 50s. So around 2005, I'm three years into practice, and I meet this woman. And this woman is a DC, doctor of chiropractic. And she starts filling my brain with all these different things about how the pharmaceuticals aren't helping people, they're killing people, the surgical procedures are dangerous, and I need to become a DC as well, a doctor, not a doctor of chiropractic, but a doctor of cause. And ultimately, we go to the Mayo Clinic with my father, and the Mayo Clinic has no reason or, or understanding why my father is sick. And then again, I meet this 20-something year old chiropractor and she tells me all the reasons why my father is sick. So with that kind of information, I started to read a lot more, talk to a lot of people, and then ultimately would change my personal life, certainly my practice. And uh, I would marry the woman and have four children, you know, with, uh, with the names uh, behind me. If you're watching the video right now, uh, uh, that's where we are today. So I would leave the biggest cardiology group in the state of Arizona in 2012, open up my own natural integrative holistic cardiology practice, and uh, the rest, uh, as they say, is history. That is amazing. What a fascinating story. And I mean, it's actually very kind of similar. It reminds me of my path when I was at PNG on the pharmaceutical side. And my passion, I, mean, I was so passionate about, and so was you know my business partner, who's my husband, um, so passionate about making a difference and leaving this world a healthier place as a result of what we do every day. And I was thinking that it was doing that over there. And then I saw my brother who was so ill and nobody, I mean, he went to every physician and they, nobody could figure out what was going on until his dentist said, you know, maybe like you have mercury that's trapped inside your body and infrared can help get it out. And so, you know, that, you know, like you said, the rest is history. And I'm like, oh my gosh, so this, we can actually heal yourself without, you know, side effects and without going through all of this invasive treatment. So let's to, to that point, as far as detox, because that's one of, you know, I mean, you have a lot of wisdom um, with heart health, but I am just really, really interested in, you know, your knowledge on how we can detox naturally um, and help the heart. And how does that, how does it work with, 
you know, blood flow and, and helping to, you know, um, treat heart disease specifically. Well, you know, again, it's kind of like, you know, as we all become doctors of cause, we want to look at why people have heart issues. Why do people have high blood pressure? Why do people have atrial fibrillation and cardiomyopathy and heart attacks and strokes? It's certainly not because they're deficient in the pharmaceuticals, right? They're not deficient in statin drugs or aspirin or blood pressure drugs or diabetes drugs. The cancer patient isn't deficient in chemotherapy. Again, there are always the items that are causing our illness. So as we look at the causation, obviously most people understand the problems with food and how food can be causative to disease, how an unhealthy lifestyle can be causative disease. So where people aren't sleeping well, they aren't getting physical activity, they aren't getting appropriate sunshine, they aren't uh, you know, again, uh, uh, um, you know, taking care of their mental and emotional uh, well-being. And then ultimately, now we look at kind of the third leg on the stool is the environmental toxins and pollutants. And obviously, I, I, I do believe that that sauna and, uh, you know, and what you guys are doing over at Sunlight, and that plays into both the, the mental mental, emotional, but then obviously into the uh, toxin side and, and detoxification, because I do think that there is, and I'm sure you'll agree, a lot of therapeutic value just to time in the sauna, just time to relax and chill out, if you will, just to kind of close your eyes and focus you know, on yourself. That is so, so important that most people miss out on. But then obviously the, the benefits as it pertains to getting all these chemicals and poisons and toxins out of our body. And that's how we can recover our health. So I want everyone to know that there are natural strategies and solutions to, to reduce and eliminate pharmaceuticals. Our goal at Natural Heart Doctor is the 100 year heart. And undoubtedly, you know, sauna plays a role in that. Yeah, yeah that's, I love the 100 year heart. That's awesome. So let's talk, um, dive a little bit deeper into each one of those areas. I would love to hear as far as let's start with nutrition, you know, for, for detoxing and helping contribute to a healthier heart. What is your thoughts on nutrition specifically for detox? Well, nutrition for detox, I think ultimately, you know, first of all, let me say this, you know, we, we got to stop putting the chemicals in our body. So we're a big proponent of organic food. So we only eat organic food. We go to local farmers, local purveyors. We make sure that our food is not sprayed or grown with chemicals. The best way to, you know, to, to detox is to stop putting toxins into your body. So again, make all the food organic. If you love ice cream, cookies, cupcakes, fine. They're not necessarily healthy for you, but if you make them organic, at least you're keeping the chemicals out. Next thing, of course, is, is twofold, seafood and organs. So let me talk about that. Seafood yeah. is the healthiest food on the planet. Wild salmon, sardines, anchovies, shellfish, clams, oysters, shrimp, mussels, uh, scallops, uh, salmon roe, fish roe. There's nothing healthier. People who eat seafood uh, live the longest, in fact, people who eat the most amount of seafood have like a 30% reduction in, uh, in, in mortality uh, over a certain period of time. So again, we, want, we definitely want to eat a lot of seafood, wild seafood. Uh, as, you, as you talked about, again, about your brother beforehand talking about mercury, uh, big fish have, are more prone to accumulate some of these toxins, uh, and, but we don't need to eat the big fish. But even if we do eat the big fish, well, obviously sauna and other methodologies, I think are fantastic for detoxification and for getting those metals and toxins out of the body. Ultimately, wild salmon, sardines, you know, uh, 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 the anchovies, the other foods that I mentioned, those are actually very low on toxins. And we test people's metals and other, other toxic burdens, and we don't see any issues with that. In addition, the seafood helps to crank up levels of your detoxification enzymes and things like glutathione to help push the chemicals out of the body. They give your body the nutrients it needs, including the omega-3s to get the job done. I also mentioned organs. I know that organs like liver and heart and kidney, they're kind of a deal breaker for a lot of people. There are quality companies who do organ supplements uh, as well, but uh, ultimately the most nutrient dense 
thing in the world is liver. There's <laughs> nothing more nutrient dense regarding all vitamins, all minerals, all proteins, all fats than animal liver when from a quality pasture raised grass fed grass finished source. So when, so with liver, let's talk about that. So how do you, um, I mean, so do you eat the liver or do you use, when you said, interesting, when you said there's companies that are trustworthy that provide supplements, like how do you, how would you recommend somebody consume liver? We do both. I think that, again, our ancestors prized the liver. All animals that eat other animals prize the liver. Again, cultures from all around, including modern day paleo hunter gatherer people, they prize the liver. They know the value of that. So again, if you can eat the liver, great. I would encourage that. Mm -hmm. If you're someone who will not eat the liver, then again, there are supplement companies. And it's, it's nice because they're not synthetic. There's nothing added to it. They're just freeze dried organs. And there's some other companies too that are doing some, some kind of cool ways to get the organs in. If, if you're not up on this, again, there's a lot of people that are talking about this. And again, there's nothing more nutrient dense than that liver. And again, we, know we talk about the importance of glutathione and some of these other detoxification enzymes. Glutathione, CoQ10, those are in, in extremely high amounts. They are found in liver and heart uh, and other animal tissues. So please, please, please go ahead and, and, and eat those organs. That's so fascinating. Um, and it's such a great tip. So like while we're talking about livers, supplements, and these other supplements, you know, what are some additional, any other ones that like we have to add, you know, um, specifically relating to, you know, heart health and, and detox? Well, I think that, uh, and especially too, as it goes, you know, with the sauna, we like to take a, a lot of binders. Mm -hmm. So some of the liver and some of the food things increase what's called phase one and phase two liver detoxification. So they're involved with providing the body the tools to make a lot of these fat soluble toxins water soluble and then help to usher them out of the body. And that's where a lot of the binders come in in the gut so things don't get reabsorbed. So typical binders would be things like bentonite clay, activated charcoal, uh, organic psyllium husk, mm -hmm. inulin, some fiber products mm -hmm. that again, uh, zeolites, for example, that are able to bind up a lot of these chemicals and toxins so you can excrete them out the other side. Uh, chlorella spirulina has some value in that as well. So whether you're, you know, you know, just in general, as you're trying to detox, I think that's helpful. But certainly what we like to do is every time it, that we sauna, we, we make sure that those binders are on board. So as we're starting to mobilize some of these toxins, yes, plenty comes off the skin, we can wipe it off our skin. But as these things get mobilized in the body, we wanna make sure that they're bound and excreted out the other side. And again, that's where some of those binders can come in. Again, chlorella spirulina, uh, the organic psyllium husk, uh, things like bentonite clay, inulin, activated charcoal, uh, zeolites, a lot of good binders are out there. That's great. So um, when you, let's, I'm switching gears for just one second, because I'm really interested in when, um, as you're taking everything, like with, with your beverage of choice, do you, what is your thoughts on water just in general? Like, do you do anything to your water? Do you, or do you do, do just straight water? Or like, tell me more about that, um, that habit. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, water, uh, water is something that's interesting and it really doesn't have a lot of literature, scientific literature to back it up as far as how much water we should be drinking. Uh, I, I, I'm one of those people who've gone from, hey, we should be drinking tons of water to flush out the toxins to maybe that's not the necessarily the best idea. I think as we sauna and as we lose, you know, fluid, we should replace that fluid with obviously as clean a water as possible. We have a product on our website that we use. We've been using for seven years. We love that particular water purification system that adds back in mm -hmm. uh, minerals to the water. Uh, I'm also a big fan of Pellegrino water, drinking that in glass. 
And in doing so, uh, Pellegrino is very high in sulfur. Sulfur is a, an element that is one of the building blocks of amino acids that make glutathione tremendous for detoxification. That, you know, that's why everyone knows garlic, onions, brassica vegetables, those tend to be very well-known healthy foods because again, they're loaded with sulfur. They're excellent for detoxification. So, you know, again, drinking quality water, you know, I, we never drink out of plastic. That just adds in more toxins. The only time I drink out of plastic is if I'm traveling uh, and, I'm, and I'm in an airport or something like that. And all there is, is, is a plastic water bottle. Uh, and to that end, I would get something quality like a Fiji and Evian, uh, something along those lines. Yeah. Yeah. The same. Pellegrino is one of my all time um, favorites for sure. It's a staple it's a staple at the Zach household. <laughs> so if you were to come over, it would be something we would offer you. Uh, so that's great tips. Um, let's talk about lifestyle. You know, obviously we've talked about, you know, adding sauna to your lifestyle to detox, which is, you know, I mean, obviously a staple, you know, in my lifestyle, but tell me more about other things that you recommend to help detox. Well, I think, you know, once again, we talked about the nutrition, the most important things for nutrition. Uh, and then now it's the, the healthy lifestyle. So uh, the next uh, and equally as important food, right? Everybody loves to debate the food story. Uh, we forget about sleep. There's nothing more important than sleep. Low levels of sleep, higher risk of being dead. You got to sleep. Ideally, our ancestors went to sleep shortly after the sundown. They woke up before the sunrise. They watched the sunrise. They watch the sunset. There is a medicinal reason why we find it so beautiful and so attractive. It's this thing, not that we're just even looking for the aesthetic. I think that we are so attracted to it because it is so healthy for us. So if we think about uh, infrared energy, right, that comes out of the sauna, and we all talk about all the different benefits of you know, far, you know, uh, uh, near uh, uh, medium infrared uh, energies and how beneficial they are. Well, the original source, of course, is from the sun. Okay. So we need to incorporate, you know, appropriate sleep. We need to incorporate the sun. What is our skin, right? Our skin, you know, according to sunlight and the Zach household is, is not just something to sweat out of and for detoxification. Our skin is a solar panel. Our skin is built to collect light, mm -hmm. including infrared. So to that end, we want to make sure, again, we just, we're living with nature as much as possible. Sleep, you know, with the sundown, awake before the sunrise, which, of course, most people don't even come close to doing. Mm -hmm. But we got to get people to do better. Physical activity, the more time we spend outside, the longer we're going to live. So get outside, be active. Uh, go see your doctor of chiropractic for regular chiropractic care. Make sure you see a holistic dentist to take care of your teeth mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, practice mindfulness and gratitude and find your happy. You know, you, you worked at, Pro, you know, uh, Procter and Gamble. I worked for a big cardiology group, but, you know, ultimately my, you know, I was at the end of that tenure, in the biggest group in Arizona, I was miserable because I, I hated doing what I was doing. I know I wasn't helping people and I was just getting to the point where I could make the jump. So, you know, what if you're unhappy in your job, your relationships, uh, your personal life, you gotta find your happy because people who are angry, anxious, uh, uh, depressed, stressed, socially isolated have a much higher risk of cardiovascular death so don't be one of those people find your happy i just heard like so many quotes that i loved from that last bit like i want to go back and replay that i'm like trying to memorize them as you're saying them i'm going to steal them from you <laughs> and reapply i love find your happy i mean that's a, that is such a sunlight and like that is our aura and and our culture and our mantra here. I mean, it's just living in a positive world because you can't because we're all about helping people do more, live fully, do more of what they love to do with the people they love to do it with um, as a you know result of, of feeling better using Sunlight's products. And you can't do more um, and feel better if you're not happy. I mean, it's just it's such an important piece. And I love that you as a cardiologist, you just 
you don't hear be happy, you know, you typically from cardiologists, like as you know, it's more, I mean, I know I, I you know, I, I grew up with all these cardiologists all around the country and, um, you know, great, great group of, of doctors, but that, that was not something that typically came out of their mouth. So thank you for that. I also love your skin as a solar panel. And so that's, that is just so true. It needs to be able to receive these amazing infrared light waves that can heal the body, you know, safely and naturally. So fantastic. We're starting to get low on time. So I want, I have another question for you. I wanted to understand, you know, the, the book, um, that you wrote that's a best-selling book on Amazon, Paleo Cardiologist. What led to you writing that, um, that book? I just think it's fascinating. Well, you know, again, I wanted to get the truth about heart health out to as many people as possible. And again, I appreciate the opportunity to be on, on your show with you, Connie. Um, you know, listen, uh, neither one of us are, are denigrating or condemning uh, conventional cardiologists in, in the sense of, hey, listen, you know, in the midst of a heart attack, uh, you know, emergencies, stuff like that, you know, emergency room doctors, uh, uh, trauma surgeons, they all play a tremendous role. But as far as when we talk about real prevention, we talk about real health, unfortunately, the medical doctors just don't get trained in that methodology. We don't get trained on the importance of nutrition, on the importance of the healthy lifestyle, and the importance uh, and strategies for detoxification. We never had like a day or two where we talked about, hey, these are the heart health benefits of sauna. No one ever sat us down and said, hey, uh, uh, sauna reduces uh, you know, heart attack risk by X amount, or people who use saunas you know, live a lot longer you know, than others. Uh, we never looked at the data coming out of fin Finland and, and just some of the advanced ideas, certainly when it comes to uh, mitochondrial health and, and supporting the mitochondria and how we detoxify by using, uh, by using infrared uh, frequencies. And then in addition, again, this, this, uh, I do think it's, you know, chapter five of my book is called uh, um, um, One Nation Under Prozac and talking about mental health, emotional health, and, and why lack thereof is such a problem. And ultimately, listen, I love getting a massage. I love lymphatic therapy. But some of the value in that is just like in the sauna where it's just kind of like, you know, our lives are so stressed out. If we can find, you know, uh, 30 minutes, uh, you know, a day or every other day just to sit in the sauna, lay down in the sunlight and solo, you know, for example, that we do. And just to decompress. I think it's uh, I think it's very valuable, but uh, yeah, a lot of that's a lot of those tenants are inside my book, The Paleo Cardiologist. It's available for you can buy it on Amazon if you want. It's available for free uh, at freeheartbook.com. Uh, over over uh, 300 references in the book, over 200 pages, and it's uh, very easy and, and readable and understandable. Thanks for that um, tip. It sounds extremely interesting, and I love what you're doing. Um, I also wanted to build on when you're talking about the importance of sleep, you know, um, and I would read your blog and I encourage anybody who's watching, you know, this go to go to naturalhealthdoctor.com and down, you know, at the bottom there is um, or actually I think that one of the menu is the blog and I found so much amazing information uh, when I clicked on the blog and there's just oh, fascinating data um, connected to everything. And so I really encourage everyone to go um, to Dr. Wolfson's website and to learn more about you know, natural ways to help be healthy. One of my favorite articles was the one about sleep and connecting um, how, I think it was, if you get less than six hours of sleep, it increases your chance for a heart attack by 20%, which is crazy. I mean, that because... The thing that that like gets me going because I'm, I'm at, like I am just a um, a billboard for sleep. I'm always talking about the importance of sleep when my kids were born. There wasn't anything that was more important to me as a mom than making sure they slept, you know, through the night for them and of course for us. Um, but then, as you know, as I've just learned more scientific information of why sleep is so important, because for me it was intuitive, you know. Um, so then I started to do research, and, and it's it's so incredibly you know, now connecting to heart attacks, you know, and the value of non-REM sleep and REM sleep. And um, just everybody should read that article um, because it's preventable, right? Like it's something you can, you can do things that are going to make you sleep better. So 
it frustrates me when I hear people say, well, I just don't sleep well. And then I like, 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 leave it at that. I'm like, well, do something about it. I mean, there's, there's things that you can do to help you sleep better. You know, one of them we know saunaing is, is a great way to help you sleep better. We, I mean, there's lots and lots of data um, about, you know, if you use the sunlight and sauna, you're going to have a better night's sleep. And we think we're learning kind of exactly why that is. One of the reasons that Dr. Hamblin said is because it is an exercise mimetic. So it's very similar. There's no, there's no arguing with exercise and sleep, right? If you go outside and you exercise and you're active, you're typically going to sleep better. Um, it, when you're inside the sauna, it's very similar without the active piece, you know, it's the passive. Um, so I just wanted like, Two things to that long message was one, just to make sure if people are watching, if they're not familiar with natural health doctor, naturalheartdoctor.com to go and go to Dr. Wolfson's website and check out all that just valuable information. There's an, and plus there's all these different ways to learn more about um, different programs that he has. So I really encourage everybody to do that. Um, and then definitely read that sleep article because it's preventable. So, um, Anything else before we conclude that's, you know, you're working on now or um, I know, you know, as far as this this um, partnership with Sunlight and Dr. Wilson, we are offering discounts on, on Sunlight and Saunas uh, on his behalf. You just have to make sure and mention Dr. Wilson. So I want to make sure and get that out. We'll, we'll make sure and put that in the notes as well. Anybody who's watching and um, on your side, anything that that listeners can look forward to that's coming up or something you're working on that you want to make sure and let people know about right now? Well, you know, again, I just continue to push the message of heart health and wellness. Cardiovascular disease is 100% preventable. All diseases, as far as I'm concerned, are man-made. We are built to live. If we give the body what it needs, take away what it doesn't, that's our long-term strategy. We're always looking to reduce or eliminate pharmaceuticals. And again, uh, sauna is just a fantastic way for many, many different reasons to help people achieve that 100 year heart. That's fantastic. And, you know, what, what a great legacy that you're, you know, building and leaving for, you know, your family and for this world is to be able to have people look at this in a different way and think about it holistically, you know, and I, I love your approach with the mind and, and um, just making sure that we're, you know, we're, our body is connected to our mind and our environment and what we do outside, what we put inside. So I really applaud you. And it's been really, uh, a really fantastic 30 minutes to be able to spend this time with you. And um, thank you for, for taking the lead and thank you for, for, you know, making the switch, you know, from, from what you were doing before, um, because you're making a huge difference and we really appreciate, you know, your message and, and your commitment to helping people live healthier lives naturally. Um, so thank you so much for joining us today. And, um, thank you to everybody who supports Sunlight and Sunlight and Spotlight. And, um, this is, like I said, one of my favorite 30 minutes that, of the entire week for me. And this was great information from Dr. Wilson. Please check out naturalheartdoctor.com and check out his book, Paleocardiologist, and everything else that he does. Thank you so much for your support, Dr. Wilson. Thank you so much, and thank you to Sunlight, and appreciate it.